In today's video, we are going to discuss the rename command. So this rename command is used to rename uh, the variables as a name, right? Uh, but in this video, we are going to extensively discuss uh, this command because generally there, uh, it isn't just the rename of a single variable that it can perform. It can perform a rename of a group variable or we can change uh, the case style of a variable or we can perform a bunch of other steps using uh, this uh, this rename command. So let's uh, have this uh, auto data sets says to use auto dot DTA command is the command that would uh, break the data into the menu or we can simply bring it from the file menu example data set and we would have this data over here. So so what rename command does is it renames a variable name, right? So for example, the make is named as make make, but it isn't for us a more obvious name, right? We, for some reason, we would like to call it car underscore model, right? We could have called it car model, right? Let me just uh, do it over here. We could just have called it car model, but then again, uh, it's difficult to, um, you know, directly view this and we cannot have spaces between uh, in the variable names. So instead of spaces, we use underscore. We can't use dash or, or any other special characters, but we can use underscore. So uh, let's just run the command. Uh, so now you would see that the name had been changed. And let's look at the uh, help menu of this uh, this rename command to to look into the syntax. We start with the command name, then we write the old variable name. Remember, in this case, the old variable name was make, and then we write the new name or the rename uh, that we want the new name that we want this variable to have. In this case, we asked it to rename it as car underscore model. Uh, now we could also do this renaming procedure from the variable menu, uh, variable manager, right? And it is uh, right on top over here. And if we click this icon, we would have this variable manager where we have uh, all the variables that we have in our data. Uh, and, and we can rename those variables over here. So let's call it model. Let's call price uh, as capital P R I C E of car. Or we could change the label or label them, change the format, etc. or assign any value label. And this value label thing I have already discussed in one of my video that is related to questionnaires. So I would give the link in the description. You can, if you, you want to uh, look into the value labels in detail, you can go over there. Okay. So I would rather uh, not apply this uh, and close this variable menu, uh, ma manager, sorry. And we could also, uh, you know, access this variable manager from the command window by writing the VR manage command, right? It would again open the variable manager right but this rename command could also be used to rename multiple variables so so if we are using this command and we have let's say 10 variables and we want to rename then those 10 variables then probably would have to write 10 rename commands you know? but uh, instead of doing that uh, we can use the rename group uh, way of uh, renaming variable uh, let me first demonstrate it and then uh, I would, uh, you know, show you the syntax and the other things that we can do. So we start with the rename command and now within uh, this set of uh, parentheses, we write the name of the variable that we want to rename, right? The old name. So if in the syntax, if you look over here, it is saying that rename old variable one, variable two and so on and so forth. And then space within again another set of uh, parentheses. This this repair is just swapped over here, right? 
uh, we write the new name of the variables, right? So, so we want price to be named as price in dollars, mileage MPG to be renamed as mileage, and repair seventy eight to be renamed as repair, right? Uh, so instead of having three different commands for each variable, we could just use a single command. So you can see that the price, mileage and repair had been renamed. Now we could also have done the same task from the command from the from the menus and uh, to rename a variable you click on data, data utilities, rename group of variable, whether it is a single variable or a group of variables you can do all the renaming procedure from here but I would rather do it using the command uh, because once you know the command you can easily use these menus right so we would discuss all these cases adding suffix prefix etc in this video okay so how do we access the help menu of rename remember we we know that help menu of rename doesn't show any you know discussion over the rename group but you could see over here there is a link and if you click on this link you would be uh, you would be uh, navigated to the rename group uh, you know help menu and you can have 10 of examples over here but one more thing is that whenever we look at these uh, help menus they are kind of a short summary of and the um, you know the help that strata provides so for example for rename we have just a short uh, summary but if we click over here to view the pdf file uh, then we would see that uh, uh, that there are other examples uh, with the rename command that we have and we if we further scroll down we would have all the examples and the help related to rename group. So it's nice to look into these extensive uh, help uh, menus, right? Or help materials. Okay. So uh, once we understand the rename group, let's move to another part. You know, uh, if we look at these variables, some of them, uh, you know, are... Um, are in proper case or rather I should say their first alphabet is capitalized some of them are all in lower case so we might want to change the case of the variable name and we can do that using the option right we write the option after comma upper lower or proper this would these these three options change the the case of the variable right so if we do uh, rename length upper it so so we haven't followed this specific syntax right write the old name and then the new name in this we are just saying rename the length variable we could have rather written it like this but we do not need to do do that we can just write the upper option and if we look at the length variable it is now renamed to uh, uh, to the upper cap or we can rename it to lower cap but in this case our foreign variable is already renamed as lower cap so it shows that the new name of the variable is already equal to the old name of the variable if we had done it with uh, the length variable then it would have changed the case back to lower or we can uh, we would want all these uh, variables to be shown in proper case by proper case we mean each uh, alphabet uh, the first alphabet of each word is capitalized right so i'm saying rename asterisk comma proper i would uh, you know discuss the asterisk in a while uh, if i do that you would see that all the variables are converted into proper case and uh, uh, if you look at the price in dollars before the proper case it was the, just the price had the, the p was capitalized and the rest of the uh, alphabets were in lower case but proper capitalizes the first alphabet of each word 
Now, what what is Staric for? Staric means all, right? So it is a wild card, right? And which means zero or more. So in this case, what we are saying is rename all variables, right? And but what 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 sh what should be the ideal way? Should the all variable name should be capitalized or should they all be in lower case or proper case? I mean, proper case looks good, but when you are typing, you would have to do you know shift l then or e n g h t. So so it gets confusing. And if there if if you imagine you have to type price in dollars, then you would have to do shift uh, p or shift i multiple times, and that's uh, you know. Uh, a hassle in in typing so to make it quicker i always use lower cases so i always rename my variable into lower cases that way i do not have to remember whether they are in upper case lower case or proper case and although they do not look good but for 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 our publication or for our you know final uh, output we can use labels rather than variable names right but it's easy to work with lowercase variable names let's move to one more uh, idea with uh, with the rename command that is swiping the variable name so let's just say you wanted to create a weight variable a second weight variable uh, let's call it weight 2 you wanted to generate this variable and we want to assign it a value of 1 if the weight of car is greater than uh, 300 pounds, 3000 pounds. So let's generate this variable. Now we have weight 2 and somehow we we want to keep this weight variable, this original weight variable. But we do not want this newly created variable to be named as weight 2. Rather we want it to be called weight and this weight, original weight, should be called weight two. So what we want to do is we want to swap the variable name. So we want weight to have weight two as its name and weight to have to have its uh, weight as its name, right? So how would we do uh, usually? Uh, how do you do that? Uh, we rename the weight variable as something else. So we, you know, um, empty this name of the variable. So we have this name to be given to some other uh, variable then rename the weight to variable as weight right and then rename this abc back to weight 2 but that's uh, that's what we have done using three different rename command the easy way is to just rename uh, you, you know swipe the uh, variable name so we write the uh, weight the old variable name uh, and then assign it weight 2 and convert weight 2 into weight 1. So it is the same syntax that we have used over here. But uh, in this we are just, you know, converting the variable name. So, so now weight was converted into weight 2 and weight 2 was converted into weight using just one line of, line of command. Now... Uh, there are suffix and prefix. Now, sometimes I merge different data sets and I want to keep, I want to know uh, which variable is coming from which data set. So usually I add a suffix or prefix with, uh, with the variable name or sometimes I create, let's just say standardization of a variable. I do standardization of a variable or do, uh, you know, um, winsorization of a variable or perform some other uh, task and I want to keep the original variable name but as well as have the winsorized or standardized variable. In that case, I add a suffix or a prefix to the variable. So I, I either I would call the old variable as original variable, right? So each original variable would have original underscore and then the variable name. So that way we can, you know, uh, know which variable that is rather than having weight 2 or weight 3 as name of the variable. So uh, again we are going to use the wildcard. So we rename all the variables right and let's add 
prefix to them. So what we are doing is rename variable, take the name of the variable, add a suffix and then the same variable name over here. So if I just run this command, you would see that it took each variable and added a prefix to it. Or I could have also added a suffix. So it takes the name of the variable, write the name of the variable and then underscore car or any suffix that you want to give. So now we have the suffix car underscore car over here. And if you wanted to remove them, then I would say car underscore anything. So this wildcard stands for anything. So, so what I'm saying is that any variable that starts with car underscore, rename it to just, you know, this, this static. So what it means is that it would remove this thing. So this, this command would remove, remove the prefix, right? And this command over here would remove the suffix. And what it is saying is that uh, all the variable names, so it, it can be anything, but it should have underscore car after it, rename it as just these, the anything that was coming before underscore car. So that's the easy way of looking at it. Okay. Mm, so, uh, so we, but, but sometimes we want specific variables to be, you know, have a suffix or prefix or the variables that follow certain pattern. So let's just say I generate a variable that's called length two and assign it just a value of zero. We are just interested in creating a variable. So now we have these two variables over here, weight two and length two, but you know, it doesn't make sense what weight two is or what length two is. Is it the original variable or the variable that we have, you know, the standardized variable or the winsorized variable or the variable that we have generated? Uh, so, so rather than having two, we should have some meaningful suffix or prefix, whatever the case may be. So what I am saying is rename all variables that have two at the end and rename them as the name of the variable underscore original. So it would replace two with uh, original, right? So now they look more meaningful or we could have added a uh, prefix to them uh, because now two have gone, we could not use this command, but anyhow, you got the idea. Okay, then there are certain sequence of variables. And in this case, we are going to use this, a new kind of special character, which is called hash. And what hash is, it is same as asterisk. It is a wild card, but it only selects a number. Now, what wild card is, wild card is something that would have any value, right? So in this a wild card would have only numbers. Asterisk is used both for the number and the characters. Uh, remember how uh, we used it above. But uh, hash is only used for for numbers. So let's say we have these three variables: car one, car triple one, and car a. We just want to rename all the variables that end with a number. So they start with car and end with number. It can be one number, two number, or multiple numbers. And we want to rename it as the name of the variable underscore original. Uh, so now you would see that it had been renamed. And lastly, we have this question mark sign, which uh, is also uh, a wild card, but it means exactly one character. It can be a number or uh, or an alphabet, right? It is just, so it is used for character, not numbers, numbers or alphabets. So let's generate a variable, uh, car one, two. So now we have these two variables over here, car A and car one, two. But just we want to, con uh, and one more thing that it, it's, it, it is used for one character. So one question mark means 
just one character so if we want to rename a car uh, a variable car that starts with car but uh, then it have only one character at the end of it and it and in this case it would only match car a we want to convert it into car a underscore original so this car one two would not be converted and why is that so if i just take this command and demonstrate it to you we should have two question marks because there are two numbers right and this would work so i hope uh, this was useful um, do subscribe and like the videos and i am uh, adding the link of this do file at in the description